The NSA's National Cryptologic School, along with several other federal partners, oversee a program called the National Centers of Academic Excellence in Cybersecurity. And the whole purpose of this program is to essentially set standards for our nation's colleges to make sure their cybersecurity curriculum is relevant and up to date. If colleges meet the standard, they can apply directly with the NSA and become a Center of Academic Excellence, or CAE for short. And in some cases, for some really special jobs like the Navy Cyber Warfare Engineer, they can actually require you to have graduated from a Center of Academic Excellence. So if you don't have a bachelor's degree yet and you're interested in cybersecurity, it's definitely worth considering going to a school that's recognized by the NSA, especially for cybersecurity. And they do maintain a large list of schools that are recognized as centers of academic excellence, but luckily for us, WGU or Western Governors University is one of those schools. WGU is an online accredited university with a lot of programs that can be completed in a really reasonable amount of time for relatively cheap and it just so happens to be recognized by the NSA, at least until 2026, and then I guess they have to recertify. The actual cybersecurity and information assurance degree in particular was specifically designed to meet the newest DHS and NSA guidelines. Additionally, the cybersecurity program comes with a whole bunch of industry recognized certs. Four of these certifications are DOD 8140-8570 compliant. That just means certain federal positions can require these certifications. And even more good news is because of WGU's special pricing model, and the ability to transfer in classes from study.com, it's possible to complete this whole program and get all the certs for just a little bit over $10,000. And we'll kind of get into how you can do that in just a minute. Just so you know what to expect, I'm gonna go over WGU and their pricing model and why it's special. I'm gonna talk about what I would do to complete this entire program and all the certs and everything for around $10,000. Uh, I've done this three times before with two bachelor's degree and a master's degree. Uh, I'm gonna go over some of the courses that you'll complete inside the cybersecurity program. I'm gonna provide you with what an ideal resume might look like after somebody has completely gone through the program. And then finally, we're gonna look at some of the jobs you can expect to get after graduating, entry-level, mid-career, and then late-career jobs as well, including their salaries. So getting into WGU and why it's special. So before I start talking about it too much, um, I, I do have three degrees from there. I have two bachelor's degree, IT and computer science, and a third degree, uh, master's in cybersecurity and information assurance. So I, I've kind of done the strategy that I'm about to talk about. But basically how WGU works is you register for a term at a time. A term is six months long and you're allowed to complete as many classes as you can in that six month time period. And if you just happen to complete all of them somehow, then you just end up getting a degree after after paying for only one term. And one term for the cybersecurity program, as of right now anyway, it's $4,250 about. And with WGU, there typically isn't any like homework that you have to turn in. Basically to pass the class, you either need to submit like a, a series of papers or take a multiple choice exam or some kind of combination in between the two. So if you know all the curriculum or at least for that particular class, um, it's, it's possible to just take the test the first day and pass the class. Like this isn't going to be the case every time but it is it is possible just so you can kind of understand how the program works. In the case of the cybersecurity program and a few other programs at WGU, some of the classes require you to get an industry certification in order to pass the class. So there's a few classes, for example, in order to pass the class, um, you just have to complete CompTIA Security Plus, and then they provide you with all the necessary study material as well. Doing everything in one term is quite hard, especially for the cybersecurity degree because there's so many certs in it. Um, I do know some people who have done it in, in one term, one being this guy, actually. I'm friends with him and he's in my Discord but it's generally hard to do. So I'm gonna kind of talk about a plan where you can do it um, in two terms for around $10,000 for the, the whole program. So hopping right into what I would do to kind of finish this program in around 12 months for around $10,000. First, I would link up with an enrollment counselor at WGU. And if I had any existing college credits, definitely transfer those in. After that, I would use study.com to figure out which classes I could take and then transfer them into the program as well. Point of this is you save a lot of money completing as many classes as you can at study.com and kind of transferring them into WGU. After completing all those, I would kind of look at what else I had left to complete at WGU, and I would probably pre-study the classes that required certifications to pass. 
The whole point of this is to kind of reduce the amount of time that you're actually registered at WGU taking classes. So if, if you can study up and like almost get ready to pass like A plus, network plus, and security plus, you can then enroll at WGU and kind of spend minimal time studying for those and just kind of bang out the certs and the rest of the classes, if that makes sense. And yeah, after that pre-study, get with your enrollment counselor again, finish enrolling at WGU and just bang out the rest of the classes in one or two terms. And congratulations, you have a bachelor's in cybersecurity and information assurance from a center of academic excellence for around $10,000. Getting into how to use study.com to save a lot of money with the strategy. Um, basically, study.com is an academic organization. You can sign up for them. You take classes which are ACE accredited. I believe that's the right accreditation. You pay, um, it's $235 per month unless you use like the discount link. I'll put it in the description. Um, if you use that, you get 30% off and you can complete two classes per month at that cost. If you wanna do more than two, it's gonna be an extra $70 per class. And if we do a little bit of math here, uh, for WGU cyber program, every single term is about $4,200, 4,265. Two terms of that would be $8,530. And if you, we calculating how much we're going to spend at study.com, if we do two classes per month at study.com, the total is going to end up being $10,433. But if we do four classes per month from study.com, the total is going to be slightly less at $10,193. And just to kind of show you what it looks like in a visualization of the classes that you can transfer in from study.com, um, I'll put a link to this in the description. These are actually all the degrees from WGU. Um, but in our case, we're just going to look at the cybersecurity and information assurance. So you can just click on this. And then this is the actual list of all the classes in the program. Uh, this column right here is the study.com transfer. So these are the actual classes that you can take at study.com and then transfer them into the program. So basically, if you click any of these links, um, you should automatically get the discount clicking like this or like any of these other links. So for example, um, we would like check out like English 104, for instance, and we click this, it brings us to um, the class from study.com. So basically the idea is you would take this class, pass it, and then you, you can transfer it in to WGU and it will satisfy this class. So you don't have to take this class for the degree. And there are 18 of these here that you can actually take at study.com and transfer into WGU. And if you're wondering like how long these study.com classes take, um, for me, if I go at like a, a decent pace, maybe like 25 hours per week, I can finish um, one class per week. And to give you an idea of what things will look like, we can kind of filter this. So for example, if we uh, clear this and show only blanks. So if we do all of the classes from study.com and transfer them in, when we actually go to complete the rest of the degree, we only have 16 classes left to do. And so at this point, this is where like I might pre-study, right? So I'd kind of look at the remaining classes and I would see like uh, which one of these looks difficult, probably any classes with certifications attached to them. So for example, you know, IT foundations in the cybersecurity program, this class is passed by completing CompTIA A plus um, core one. Like this, pa this class is passed by completing CompTIA A plus core two. And the same with these like network, network plus security plus. Um, getting these certs will also like cancel out these classes. So if you wanted to, you could get the cert like outside of WGU and transfer it in and that would satisfy the class as well. But you know, another thing you could do is just pre-study the cert, enroll, and then maybe go through their learning material really quick and then kind of take the certs faster than you would otherwise, if that makes sense. And then getting into the actual classes for the program, um, I'm just gonna use this um, transfer mapping sheet to talk about it because it's kind of easy. Basically, like uh, everything that's green, you can kind of consider these general education classes that are probably going to be in uh, a lot of other degree programs at WGU, um, not even necessarily IT. And then this kind of yellow section here, these are kind of like the um, core classes that you're going to find in probably most or all of the IT um, related programs at WGU. And then the red stuff down here, this is more program specific, if that makes sense. There'll be like some overlap with other technology degrees, but for the most part, a lot of these are really, uh, I guess, security centric or like cybersecurity specific classes, if that makes sense. And as I kind of look through these, um, I get the sense that they probably designed this program off of the security domains, like ISC squared security domains or something like this, because they really touch on like a lot of different areas. And this column over here kind of shows 
um, any certifications that are associated with the class. Like the class prepares you for that certification. So you can kind of assume like, you know, these two classes, probably a bunch of CompTIA A plus curriculum, probably this class is a bunch of security plus curriculum and, and so forth. They even have some Linux and Python in there as well, which is really, really good to see actually. Just as a reminder, I'll put a link to this in the description. Clicking any of these links in here um, will automatically apply the discount for you if you go to checkout at study.com so you don't have to really um, use a code or anything like that. You can basically just use this sheet as a guide. You can kind of see there's a bunch of like, other people actually using it. Um, I try. We try to keep it updated. This one's for sure updated, I think, because we updated it re really recently and I just checked it a couple of days ago. So it should be up to date. And getting into what an ideal resume might look like for somebody who's actually gone through the program and graduated. Um, this is the resume template I use for my cybersecurity course. We've I've had a lot of success with it, a lot of people finding jobs. Um, so I know at least this resume is good. I just kind of retrofitted it with the actual um, WGU cybersecurity program, if that makes sense. So basically the stuff in blue here is what you can expect to get like directly from the program, if that makes sense. So here's your, your bachelor's degree. This is just a free online class from MITx. Um, these are some of the certifications from the degree, or rather most of them. There are more certifications than this, but those certifications are stackable, which means like it's like a combination for like, right, if you get like A plus, network plus, sec and security plus, you're kind of awarded a fourth cert. So I didn't include any of those in here, but these are the certs you get from the program. And then this other stuff down here, um, this is actually from my course, like my cybersecurity course. So. Um, obviously you don't have to go through the course to do these. You can kind of uh, be creative on your own and make up your own projects and like your own experience. But um, this experience section, there's like a um, cybersecurity internship component of the course where you're like help other customers with security configs. And you could put something on your resume that looks like this. And then of course this is projects. Um, this is the actual project that's in my cybersecurity course. It's kind of like a, we create a hands-on SOC or a security operations center in the cloud and practice incident response against live traffic. Um, again, like you don't have, obviously you don't have to take the course. Um, you can get creative on your own and come up with your own project or emulate the course if you want, come up with something for this. And the rest of the stuff, um, you know, this would, this would just be like your previous company and stuff and then uh, skills and technology. So definitely use this resume if you want um, make a copy of it. I'll put a link in the description. Um, it's kind of interesting. I used to like uh, pre-build my own resume before I had degrees or like um, certifications or anything. I would kind of build up my own resume um, to make it look like what I wanted to look in the future. So um, you can do something like that. I think it's a, a healthy practice and it's kind of fun as well. So yeah. Check out that link in the description. And then to kind of talk about some of the jobs you might you know, expect to have uh, entry in your career mid and then you know late career in your senior. Um, I kind of made this for fun. I basically went to chat GPT and I was like, you know, give me 12 cybersecurity job titles, make a third of them be entry, a third mid, a third senior. And it kind of dumped out these titles. And then basically to find like the average salary and stuff, um, I would take like, I would copy like the name of the job and I go to Indeed, search like, you know, cybersecurity analyst. And then I'd look at the pay and then you can kind of see these numbers here. And I, I basically like use chat GPT to like dump all of these in and average them out, you know, 3,275K, about 2,590K. I, I basically did a bunch of math with chat GPT and kind of came up with the average salary for each one of these. And I've talked about this quite a bit in my channel. Um, job title is like really, really wishy-washy. I, I think the government tried to standardize it a bit. There's like a website that talks about standardizing the job titles, but these are like really wishy-washy job titles and it's just kind of more for fun to look at, right? Um, because like, you know, if I'm a chief information security officer, I ain't gonna work for 121K, right? That, that doesn't make sense. I just searched CISO and you can see the pay is like not super crazy. Probably, you know, bear in mind, like a lot of these positions um, will be augmented with RSUs or like, you know, company stock, depending on where you work. And then for sure, like cybersecurity analyst is not going to make 91K in like Oklahoma or, you know, or something like this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. My friend actually works in Oklahoma and he was like a cybersecurity analyst. That, that's, I think that's why that came into my head. But um, he makes more than 91K now, but he's doing something else. But anyway, you know, just take all of this stuff here with a grain of salt. Um, it kind of makes sense, you know, as it progresses to senior, you know, the salary kind of progresses as well, but just use it as a general guideline or maybe more more so for fun because it really depends on like the geographic region and if you get stock and, and all of that stuff. So yeah, just keep that in mind. 
But yeah, if you want to get a bachelor's degree, uh, going to WGU is probably not a bad idea. You can save a lot of money, save a decent amount of time, get a whole bunch of certifications at the same time, as well as having graduated from the Center of Academic Excellence. It's just a really good deal, I would say. And I do want to say definitely check out my course. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. You can get a lot of really decent hands-on experience with actual traffic on the internet, as well as the internship component. It's just nice. It's just some nice experience on your resume to kind of round things out. But yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.